Yo, what's going on, everybody? We're back with another game review, and this time we're talking about Red Dead Redemption 2. If you're new here, welcome. If not, welcome back. Please hit the like button and subscribe. Got a lot more content on the way. All right, let's get into it. Red Dead Redemption 2 is a Western-themed, open-world, action-and-adventure game that was released by Rockstar in 2018. It's a prequel to Red Dead Redemption that was released in 2010, and it's the third game in the Red Dead series. The game was released on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. It's also one of the best-selling games of all time. Like I said in some of my last couple of reviews, one of the things that I enjoy most about running this channel is going back and playing a lot of the classic games that I somehow missed. Yes, this was my first time playing a Red Dead game. As ridiculous as that sounds. But one of the things I like is that you can hop in the series at this game though and not really miss a beat. The game takes place in 1899 and follows the story of an outlaw named Arthur Morgan who's a member of the Vanderlick gang. The gang is a collection of misfits all trying to find their way in the world. After a botch heist, the gang has to leave their stash and flee the town of Blackwater. That's where the story picks up. The gang is on the run and trying to decide what their next move is. The character you play as, Arthur, is a simple man. He's about loyalty and integrity. He's an enforcer in the gang. Your goal is to help everybody in the gang survive and try to find a place where y'all can settle down without the law on your back. The game is open world, so you can complete missions and explore at your own pace. The gang will end up setting up the camp in a couple different places throughout your journey. Whenever the law gets too close, it's time to move to a different location. The map is fairly expansive and covers five fictional states and a bunch of different towns and settlements. The towns are all unique too, with each having a different design and layout. Part of your job is to help the game survive and hopefully thrive by bringing in money and resources. There are a couple of items that you will be responsible for supplying for the camp. Food, medical supplies, and ammunition. Also, upgrading the aesthetics of the camp is your responsibility as well. There are a lot of different ways that you can go about this. You can rob trains, complete different odd jobs for people, complete bank heists, rob wealthy families or other gangs, hunt different wildlife, and stuff like that. One component of the game that I really like is all the mini games that you can play. You can play dominoes, poker, blackjack, arm wrestle, and even more. I spend at least a couple of hours just playing poker. If you're good, you can walk away with a couple more dollars than you started with. If not, you can leave with a little less. I've also spent hours in the game just hunting. There's over a hundred different animals in this game. You have to apply specific tactics depending upon what the game is that you are hunting. Some game, you might be better off hunting with a bow and some you might want to use a rifle. You also have to consider if your prey is aggressive and will attack you during your hunt. After a successful hunt, you can skin the animal and sell its pelt or keep it and use it for crafting. With the meat from the carcass, you can either sell it, cook it for yourself, or donate it as rations for the camp. The combat is one of the best elements of the game. You can get into hand-to-hand -hand fights at the bar with local patrons, or all-out gun fights with lawmen or other gangs. The gun selection is probably what you would expect for the end of the 19th century. You'll start off with a revolver, a shotgun, and a bow. And we'll be able to get more expensive and higher quality options as you move throughout the story and have money to where you can now purchase your own weapons. There's a wanted slash bounty system that is somewhat like the wanted system in GTA if you commit a crime in front of a civilian, they will report it to the authorities, they will investigate, and you will be wanted. And if you're not found immediately, then a bounty will be placed on your head. The bounty will be for whatever state that you committed the crime in. You can have different bounties in different states for completely different crimes all at the same time. You can go to any post office though and pay off the bounties that you have. There are two different game modes, story mode and online. The story is enjoyable. Arthur is a good protagonist. Throughout the story, his convictions and his loyalty are both challenged as he uncovers truths and has to make difficult decisions. 
All the members of the gang all have unique and different personalities and relationships with each other. It's cool to see how they interact together and how they all react to different situations. This story mode is also pretty long and will take you at least 60 plus hours to complete. The online mode offers a unique but similarly rewarding gaming experience. You get the opportunity to create your own character here. Your individual has just been set free from prison after being framed for murder and is tasked with proving their innocence. The online mode is set in 1898, one year before the events of the main story. You can play with up to four friends online. Y'all can compete different missions together to advance in the narrative, or you can just complete side missions and participate in different events that happen throughout time. Red Dead Redemption 2 is considered one of the best open world games of all time. And I can't even really say that's a bad take. Like, I completely understand. This is a great game. If somehow you was out there living like me and somehow missed this game and never played it before, you should definitely pick it up. It just recently got added to PlayStation Plus if you have a subscription. Now, if you made it this far, thanks. Please leave a like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments what you think about Red Dead Redemption 2 or what game you'd like to see me talk about next. Also, be on the lookout for the anime channel. Still got that coming soon. All right, until next time, we're out. Peace.